and we're on Maggie Moo's video. So welcome to the third video of Lockdown Two. We're going to be superheroes today. We don't have Maggie Moo today. She's been kidnapped. That pesky old McDonald's from the farm next door has kidnapped her Maggie Moo. So we're going to have to do some superhero training to go and rescue her. Does that sound good? Yeah, you ready? So we're going to open and close as we always do. And for the bit in the middle, our superhero section, you're going to need a wiggle ribbon. You're going to need some bath toys if you have any, so maybe some rubber ducks. Um, I've got some scrunchies, I've got my bath cap with me as well. Um, you'll need your sensory scarves, your pom pom, your egg shaker, of course, that you always need. And I think that's pretty much it. If you've got a soft toy, grab it, one of your best soft toy friends. You might already have a Henry horse or a Maggie Moo soft toy. Not to worry if you don't, any soft toy will do because we're going to give them a nice bath at the end and we're going to talk about all our lovely body parts. We're going to use up all of these muscles, burn up lots of energy and do some of your favourite songs. Are you ready boys and girls? Should we go for it? Get your grown ups up as well, get them involved too. Let's use up lots of energy. Should we go for it? Let's start as we always do then. We're going to be clapping our hands, we're going to jump up and down, we're going to shake, shake, shake and we're going to stamp our feet. Let's go guys. Here we go. Ready Henry Is everybody here? Are you ready? Yes. Are you well ready done, let's jump. jump. Here we go. I jump, jump, jump. I jump, buddy, jump. I jump, jump well done, jump, everyone. Jump, 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 jump,
Now, if you've got a baby, touch those body parts on your baby and repeat the word to them as we mention them in the song. This builds up word association and body awareness, okay? Here we go. Let's go. Shake, shake, shake. Here we go. Let's do the shaker. Good job. Show me it. Wave it up to your screen. Oh, wow. Look at that. Well done. You might have a homemade pom-pom that you've made at home yourselves. Or you might just be using a little um, sensory scarf or a tea towel. Whatever you've got. Something you can wave around to move with your body with the rhythm. Right then, we're going to wiggle our hips. Show me your wiggly hips, toddlers. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. We're going to stamp our feet. Stamp, stamp, stamp. And we're going to wave our arms up in the air. Hi! Hello! Then we're going to shake those pom-poms out to the side. And we're going to shimmy all the way to the floor. So we're going to start up high. And we're going to shimmy, 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 shimmy. Then we're going to spin round in circles and get dizzy. Ready? Here we go. Let's get dizzy. Yeah. Well done, guys. Now, if your little one's not quite up on their feet yet, you're going to hold this pom-pom. Give them a lovely little tickle with them. Pom-poms are a lovely little sensory tool. They feel nice and ticklish. They sound nice and rustly. And these ones are nice and colourful and sparkly as well. And catch the light. So they're great for that visual and auditory tracking and they feel nice and ticklish too. So we're stimulating three senses here. Lovely upbeat one. Lots of happy smiley faces for your baby. Lots of eye contact. Are we ready? Let's go for it. Let's do the Yuki Boogie. Shake, shake. Yeah. 
Hi, that was wonderful. Right then, so those are the three songs that we always open every movie music session with. So now we're going to head off on our adventure. We need to be superheroes today because we need to rescue Maggie Moo, who's been kidnapped by that pesky old McDonald on the farm next door. Do you think we can do that? I'm not sure. Show me your muscles. Have we got big, strong muscles? Have we got lots of energy? Can we fly high? I think we need to do some training. What do you think? Yeah. Let's go for it then. Let's get these bodies re ready to go and rescue Maggie Moo. So first of all, we're going to do an old favourite that everyone loves. We're going to do some stand up, sit down to warm these bodies up. So can you stand up? Sit down. Stand up. Sit down. We're going to turn around. Can you turn around again? We're going to run on the spot. So we're going to use these legs to run as fast as we can. Run, 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 run. Well done. Then we're going to wriggle and shake like a little snake. Wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. Now, in our sessions, loads of you always get down on the ground for this and try and wiggle across the floor. You can do that at home if you like, like a little snake. If you've got a baby, just literally give them a little lift up and down for stand up, sit down. Wiggle them round on the spot on their little hips if they're um, sitting up. Tap their legs for the running on the spot and just give them a little tickle with your fingers for the wriggle and shake. Okay, are we ready, gang? Let's do it. Now, this one's a great song for coordination, for body awareness, for balance, memory, listening skills. The list goes on and on and on. There's a video on our Facebook somewhere that I might repost later of little Millie, who's almost two now, but in the summer we did this in her garden. She was 16 months old and she had it step perfect. It's an old favourite and it's a great one for them to learn. Here we go. Can we clap our hands? Let's stand up. Stand up, sit down. Stand up, sit down. Turn around. Turn yourself around. Stand up, sit down. Check that we've got all the body parts that we need. So we're going to wiggle our arms, wiggle our fingers, wiggle our ears and our nose. We're going to wiggle our hips, wiggle our legs, wiggle our feet and our toes. So if you've got a wiggle ribbon, fab. Don't worry if you don't, you can go back to your little sensory scarf or you can just use your egg shaker. We're going to wiggle all these body parts as we mentioned them in the song. If you have a baby with you and you have a wiggle ribbon, Leave baby on the ground and you stand up with the wiggle ribbon and wiggle above them. If baby's sitting up, we're thinking of their head control and their balance. We want them to follow this ribbon with their head, with their eyes, without hopefully toppling over. If you've got a tiny newborn, then give them a little bit of tummy time to encourage them to hold their little heads up to follow the ribbons. And we're thinking about baby's hand-to-eye coordination here as well. We want them to reach out and try and grab these ribbons. Right then, are we ready, Gan? Grab your wiggle ribbons and let's do the wiggle song. Let's do the wiggle song, wiggle song, wiggle. 
so that we can rescue her. So we're going to have to learn how to do two things at once. So let's try this out, shall we? Let's start by rubbing our tummies and patting our heads at the same time. Get your grown-ups involved in this one. They'll, they'll love this one. Rub your tummy and pat your head. Then can you turn around? But can you bob up and down at the same time? Turn around and bob up and down. Oh, that's a tricky one. Then we're going to flap our arms and jump around at the same time. Can you flap your arms and jump around? Are we ready? Let's try two things at once. We're going to clap our hands at the start of this one. Here we go. Got a little intro, but a little bit. Are you ready? Well, can you do two things at once? Yes, I can do two things at once. And you're going to turn it into a superhero scarf. So we did a little post on Facebook the other day about how versatile these little sensory scarves are. They can be a peekaboo blanket. They can be a blanket for our sleep wake up song or our, our sleeping bunnies. They can be a paddle for your canoe. Just a paddle. 
There's a paddle when you're going sailing. They can be a hot air balloon. You can play peekaboo. You can play hide and seek. You can hide some things and try and find them. And of course, they can be a superhero cape. So here we go. Here's my superhero cape. Now I need my superhero muscles. Show me your muscles and your arms. Where are they? Whoa, well done. Show me those muscles. Wow, look at you. How strong. Now show me your superhero arms. Do, 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 do. We're going to go flying around. Now if you've got a baby, feel free to give them a little lift up and a little sway around the room if they're up for that. Toddlers, you're going to go marching around the room pretending to be flying like a big superhero. Let your superhero cape swoosh around and go as fast as you like, okay? But while you're doing that, you have to look out for Maggie Moo. Keep an eye on your screen and let me know if you see Maggie Moo, okay? So give me a shout if you see Maggie Moo. Shout, Lisa! There she is! We're going a bit panto on you, okay? If you see Maggie Moo, shout, there she is! There she is! Okay? Are you ready? So keep an eye out for Maggie Moo. <laughs> Superheroes to the rescue. We do what superheroes do. Argue and argue. Superheroes to the rescue. Which superhero are you? Superheroes to the rescue. We do what superheroes do. Superheroes to the rescue. Which superhero are you? Superheroes do Superheroes to the rescue Which superhero are you? Have you seen Maggie Moo yet? Have you seen her? Where is she going? Maggie! Where are you Maggie Moo? Superheroes to the rescue we do what superheroes do Superheroes to the rescue Which superhero are you? Are you strong? Are you strong? Can you lift them Maggie! Yeah, sure, have you seen Maggie Boo yet? Are you strong? Where... Ah! Maggie, you're back! You hi Maggie Boo! Say hi Maggie Boo, we rescued her! Well done superheroes! We do what superheroes do. Now I wonder if Maggie Mill will sit. Superheroes to the rescue. Come on, lads, let's share this with you, shall we? Superhero are you? That's not happening, is it? Right, Henry. seen us on YouTube then usually on YouTube Maggie Moo is six foot tall but here she is because this lockdown the schools are still on so you know we're back to the puppet because we've got no Maggie Moo right give Maggie Moo a big wave and at the end of every session Maggie Moo would usually pre-lockdown come around and give you a big cuddle but she can't do that anymore affection is banned by law we're not allowed it so she's going to give you wiggle hugs instead so everyone cross your arms and wiggle your body, that's it, wiggle, 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 that's a wiggle hug, so we can do that from a distance, we don't have to touch each other, but we can still wiggle hug, so Maggie Moo loves a wiggle hug now, she's going to cross her arms, and wiggle, 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 well done, we'll do that at the end, shall we, wiggle, 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 well done everyone, right then, so now you need your bath bits, so, we've got our little scrunchies over here, to give Maggie Moo a little wash, so you can grab your Maggie Moo if you have one, or your Henry horse, or any soft toy that you have. It's also worth saying that we have these back in stock now, the puppets. We do, we did just have soft toys for ages. These had been discontinued, but they're back. So we've got some Maggie Moo puppets, if you'd like one. 
So you need some scrunchies, some bath toys, maybe a little bath cap if you've got one. You're going to give your soft toy a little wash. You can give your grown-up a little wash as well. Now, we're thinking a lot about body awareness with this one. So as you wash these parts of your body, tell me what's the name of these body parts. Can you wash your tummy? Can you wash your arms? Can you wash your chin? Can you wash your head? So you tell your grown-ups, or let your grown-ups tell you, all of these body parts as we give them a little tickle and a little wash. Are we ready? And if you've got some bubbles, get them ready too, because I think we should get them out towards the end. Here we go. at once we did a bit of stand up sit down and of course we were superheroes going around to rescue our maggie moo we did great and we finished off with a nice bath so we're going to get the bubbles back out now hopefully you've got some bubbles at home don't worry if you don't you can count our bubbles as they flow down past your screen count them as you see them can you see some big ones some small ones do they look the same see what you think if you do have bubbles at home there's so much you can do with them toddlers you can stretch up high to pop the bubbles bend down low to pop the bubbles Practice your jumping. Jump on top of the bubbles when they land on the ground. Pop the bubbles with your fingers. Balance on one leg. Pop them with your toes. Whoa. Count them as you pop them. Can you count all the way to 10 as you pop them? If you've got a baby that's sitting up, again, we're thinking about that head control and that balance as they try and track those bubbles flowing around. Hopefully they'll be able to follow and not fall over. We're also thinking about the hand to eye coordination as they reach out and try and grab the bubbles. And if you've got a little tiny newborn, they won't even be able to see those bubbles until they're at least three months old because there's not enough colour or contrast in them until that point. Thereafter, great for their vision tracking. You see them all of a sudden focus on a bubble, 
might only be for a second or two and they'll track it as it flows down. So lots going on with bubbles, they're a wonderful little sensory tool, they're really worth investing in a little bubble machine. Maybe you can put that on your list for Santa this year. Here we go then, let's do some bubble popping. Bubbles is also a lovely easy word for your little ones to say. comfy spot on the floor, maybe bring down a cushion from the couch, have a little lay down, or you can lay down on the couch if you like, cuddle into your Maggie Moo or your Hemi horse or whatever soft toy you have, I'm going to turn the lights down, we're going to pretend to sleep and when we hear the call crow shout, go, go, we're going to jump up and start dancing around, sound good? Come on then, get into bed. Merchandise, 
everything from hair clips to bibs to um, jigsaw puzzles, loads of movies and merchandise up there. We've got an online shop. Please feel free to have a look and see if there's anything um, that you would like or that you might like to add to your list for Santa. Um, we are doing free delivery around Plymouth, Ivy Ridge and Saltash. Um, we are tending to make the orders up on the Thursday and deliver them on a Friday, so pop an order in. Um, what else can I tell you? I think that's about it. Thank you very much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're all tired out now, boys and girls. Should we have a nice wiggle hug and say goodbye? Cross your arms. Oh, lovely wiggle hugs. I hope you all had fun. Please do post your photos on Facebook or send them to me. I'd love to see pictures of your little one enjoying our sessions. It always cheers me up to see them. Um, and I will see you again later in the week. Take care. Bye.